Out of the confines of a tiny Mumbai office emerged India's biggest engineering and construction firm, Larsen & Tubro. The legacy started in 1938, a year before the outbreak of World War II. Two Danish engineers and old school friends, Henning Holt Larsen and Sarang Christian Tubro, arrived in India to set up a small office to represent a dairy equipment manufacturer from their home country. In 1939, due to the start of the World War II, imports were restricted, which forced the engineers to shut their business. But the wartime need to repair and refit ships offered Edentine opportunity and led to the setup of two repair and fabrication shops. In 1940, Edenty got its biggest break when it entered the installations field. Due to sudden intimate of German engineers in the war, Edenty won an assignment to build soda ash plant for the Tata Group. Edenty proved its capability at execution, and the reputation stayed with the company since. By 1945, Edenty partnered with British machines manufacturers of equipment used to produce hydrogenated oils, biscuits, soaps, and glass, which added to its portfolio. It also collaborated with US-based Caterpillar Tractor Company and with it, it entered into the earth-moving equipment business. In 1948, a year after India's independence, L&T bought 55 acres of undeveloped marshland at Pawai, a suburb in Mumbai. This property became the company's manufacturing landmark in the later years. In 1950, L&T went public with a paid-up capital of Rs 20 lakh and a turnover of Rs 1,009 crore. In 1962, Tupro retired from active management. Later, Hall Larsen also retired as chairman in 1978. In the decades that followed, the company grew into an engineering major under the guidance of leaders like N. M. Desai, S. R. Subramaniam, U. V. Rao, S. T. Kulkarni, and A. M. Nayak. L. N. T.'s current chairman Anil Manibhai Nayak joined the company as a junior engineer in 1965. Nayak quickly walked up his way, moving from GM to MD and Chief Executive Officer, finally becoming Chairman in December of 2003. Nayak has been instrumental in segregating the cement business and localization of critical technology in defense and nuclear sectors. A Rs 85,400 crore conglomerate with over 54,000 employees in business segments ranging from engineering to financial services and real estate. L&T has emerged as one of the top engineering firms outside of India, especially in the Middle East.